Yeah, it looks like art prize out there with all those people walking around. And again, I want to reiterate what uh, Matt said here. Stay off those breakwaters out there. There are very strong rip currents. That will continue to be the case here during the day tomorrow. And there's certainly the possibility of these rogue waves coming on by when you have a pattern like this. So uh, be extra careful. If you take a look behind me, we got a couple of showers on radar. We'll track those for you and have the complete forecast straight ahead. Thank you, Bill. Well, the wind and the storms leaving thousands of people without power tonight. Storm Team A telling us about this storm for a couple of days now so we could be prepared and so could consumers energy. Yep, they did have some warning. 24 Hour News 8's Crystal Hilliard's live in Wyoming with a look at how the company is responding to these outages. Crystal? Good evening, Brian. Those numbers are slipping and sliding tonight. Right now, we told you at 5 o'clock that 5,000 Greater Grand Rapids cons consumers, energy customers, were without power. Right now, that number has jumped to 10,000. At 5 o'clock, we told you there were 31,000 consumers, energy customers without power statewide. Right now, that number is down to 30,000. I want you to take a look right here. You can see this is the System Control Center, and you can see they're keeping a close eye on everything going on all around West Michigan. Right Right here is a map of Michigan, and you can see the darker the color of the county, the more outages that county is dealing with tonight. You can see Nuevo County looks like it's got the most outages in West Michigan right now. Now, I'm joined with Tim Patrika, who is telling us you guys are beefing up your staff tonight. Tell me a little bit about that. That's true. It's all hands on deck tonight. Crews will continue to restore power throughout the evening. And just a reminder, if you see a downed wire, please stay away. Give us a call. So how are you guys beefing up your staff a little bit tonight? Well, obviously, the crews will be staying over past their normal quitting time, going on double shifts. Um, well, everyone that is available will certainly be in the office tonight and obviously th throughout the day tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now, remember, if you have a down power line or if you lose your power, make sure you call Consumers Energy because they don't know that you lost power until you call them. We're live in the System Control Center, Crystal Hill, your 24-hour news 8.